my first question to you would be how did you, with everything in your very long career and all of the things that you've had to counter in terms of homophobia or harassment or death threats or any of those sorts of things, how did you arrive at a point where you're wearing makeup and you're wearing a pink charro outfit on stage in a, in a way that's proud and shameless? I think mental health is something that, especially people from, from our community, we need to keep on working in ourselves, in improving ourselves. Now I can see that the younger generations, they have the opportunity to love themselves. It is, it is complicated. It is very complicated, but it's not impossible to change. With therapy, with therapy, with a lot of therapy, and confronting my, my demons, my, my own family, my friends, and getting into this point in my life to be like, I don't, I don't care anymore. So Christian, tell us what the word puto means to you. Puto is kind of like, like faggot, right? Uh, puto is something that they use in Mexico and a lot of parts of Latin America, but in Mexico especially, when you are more feminine or they want to put you down in any other certain way, they will call you puto. Uh, and of course, that was a word that I grew up with, it's, it took away my power, it took away my energy, it took away my, my light, right? And that's why at the end of the tour, I decided to wear this t-shirt down, down the, the charro outfit and be like, okay, so if being myself makes me a puto, then I'm a puto. Because I love myself and I be myself and I, I and I won't ask for for permission and it's been amazing because it was something that I did on stage but at that moment I felt like I recover it, it was like this just this moment when I was like yeah I'm a puto it is beautiful again when you finally feel comfortable with who are you and what you're wearing and it doesn't matter anymore what any other people can say because you love yourself. Hola, mi nombre es Axel Bautista, yo soy el coordinador de movilización comunitaria en Impact Global Action y desde Impact estamos muy contentos, muy emocionados y sobre todo agradecidos con Cristian Chávez que está aquí con nosotros en nuestro evento Outlast Wanted en Munich en el marco de la conferencia internacional de SIDA. Gracias Cristian por haber participado.